Hey everyone! Alright, so here's my next tutorial, and as you can see that I am wearing a wig, and this one is pretty much the same cut and style, um, just a different color, of course. But a lot of people asked me how to do quick weave, so thought I would do it. And yeah, this one is going to be about a shorter version, and then I'm going to do one later, um doing a longer one, but I'm going to use different products, because with this one, I used a 27-piece kit, which you'll see more about that in a little bit later, but one of the perks of doing a shorter wig is that guys could wear them as well. Um, if you have, like, a receding hairline or your hair is thinning, and you want a style that looks like yours and not look like a wig, this would come in handy. And then also, um, for, like, anyone into cosplay or anything theatrical, this would come in handy as well. And then, like, women with alopecia, and they may have a shorter style like this. They could do, um, this type of wig as well. And so, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. But that's the back, so, yeah. You can see that it's a wig, of course, and it looks like... Uh, it could be my natural hair, it doesn't look like a wig, so yeah, that's pretty much all I can actually say about the tutorial, so let's just go right ahead and get it started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is decide which um, kit you want to use, pretty much, since this one is about using a kit. Now, with the kits, they're actually pre-cut lengths of hair that you use in whatever order, like the shortest ones down here, and you can get longer towards the top or they'll just be um, layered already, so you don't have to do that much work when you're, like, styling them. Um, they have different kinds, like this one right here is a 27-piece, and this one is a 4-piece. Now, with these, they're actually fairly cheap. This one was only $10, and I believe this one was, like, $10 or $12 as well. So these are really great um, to get to start with if you're going to practice making these. Then, once you get the hang of it, I would you can branch off and start doing it where you just buy single length of hair to style how you want later, and then you can buy the more expensive hair because that way you won't mess it up. Um, but with the kits, you can get either synthetic hair or human hair, so that's another thing you're going to want to decide. Um, it might be a little bit more expensive for human hair wherever you're buying it. I'm not sure it's going to be different everywhere, but this one right here, um, this 27-piece kit is human hair. It's from Mato Mato. You can see all the information right there. And then this four piece is from Mato Mato as well. And then the reason that one's a 27 piece and one's a four piece is this one actually has hair in pre-cut length strips and you get 27 of them in three different lengths. This one is a four piece because you get the different lengths of hair but they're very long tracks. Like, they're not cut into, like, strips that are, like, this long or however long the other ones are. So that's going to be another thing to factor in which kit you want. Maybe when you're first starting, you're going to want something like this where there's less um, involved, but you're going to cut both of them either way, so it doesn't really matter. Um, just get whatever is going to be easiest for you and what you're more comfortable with. Alright, now, once you actually start getting ready to do it, I believe all kits come with this. Um, if not, I'll just tell you so you know, but you're going to need a wig cap. Um, whatever color you use is going to be up to you. They have black ones, brown ones, and I think every kit, it comes with a black one. But if you want a brown one, you can buy them for very cheap. And then, since we're doing this to make a wig, you're going to want it to have a shower cap in it, or just like this clear, clear plastic cap. Then, of course, you're going to need the hair, and then you have to purchase some um, hair glue. Um, but once you have all that, you can actually get started, so let's just go right ahead and get into it. I don't want this to stay on my head for a couple of weeks or a month or a couple of months. I don't know how long they stay on when you don't do it um, the way I'm going to do it. I'm actually making it a wig. I don't want to wear it as an actual weave. So, that's where the shower cap comes in handy, because you put that on... And this is going to protect your hair from the glue, so that way it's not glued onto your hair, or if you're bald, um, your scalp. Then you take your wig cap and put that on over it. Now, the way I do it, because the shower cap is slippery, I put the shower cap a little bit 
back right here and pull this down farther so it's actually on my skin so it doesn't ride back because you're not going to be working on this area for a while and then once you actually do start working on it you can just pull the shower cap down for the back same thing it likes to ride up so i actually just take a few bobby pins and i pin it in place in the back and it's totally fine to have the pins there because when you glue over them you're just going to be able to slide them out after anyways, but this is just going to make sure that the back stays where you need it, so that way you don't have to worry about like your wig stopping short. And you can do the same for the sides as well. Um, I don't have hair on the side, so I can't pin it to anything, so I'm just very careful when I'm working on the sides to make sure they stay where I want them. But now that everything is on and I have the back pinned how I want it, we can actually start with the hair. Alright, now with these pre-cut kits, um, if you're doing a shorter one like I am, they come in three different lengths. You have your shorter hair, your longer hair, and like your medium hair. And that goes the same for pretty much all of them. You're going to have a shorter version, a longer, and a medium. Now with the shorter wig, you're going to use your shorter pieces on the bottom and work up towards your longer on the top. With a longer wig, you're going to use your longer pieces on the bottom and work up towards the top. So that way you get more of a layered look, unless you want more of a bob then you do it the opposite way. So as you can see, there's many different ways you can do these wigs, um, even just with like these pre-cut kits when you're not going to be doing um, like all of the shaping yourself. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be up to you, but. Okay, so I'm gonna be turned around so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, when you do this on yourself, you're not gonna see most of what you're doing, so it's kinda tricky. So if you can get a friend to help you, that'll be great. Otherwise, it's guesswork your first few times, so that's why I recommend buying the cheaper kit so you can practice, but you're going to take your track and what you're going to do is right here, you're going to want to put the hair and pretty much the way I do it is I just go straight across right here. I don't like, I know some people like to curve. I don't like to do that. I just go straight across. So you're going to take the hair and just feel like the wig cap and like feel your head and figure out where you want it to start. I'm going to start mine right here. So I'm going to go right there. Oops. Slide across. And I'm going to stop it right there. So I pinch it and then I'm just going to cut that. Then once I have that cut, I'm going to go in with my hair glue and I'm just going to put it along the whole um, row. And if you've never used hair glue before, the great thing about it, it's kind of like lash glue. If you get it on your skin, all you have to do is rub it and it'll just ball up and you'll be able to get it off your skin that way. Um, this is very, very handy since um, you're not really seeing the back of your head unless you're using like two mirrors or anything like that. So that way, if your fingers get a little messy, doesn't matter because it'll just roll off. So I'm just going to take the glue and I don't know, I don't even think you really need to see this part. I'm just going to put the glue on here. All right, so I did the first one and apparently I forgot to start recording because yeah, I went to watch it back to make sure that you could see what I was doing, and there was no video. So, I have the glue on this one. This is the second one. What I was explaining when I did the first one is you're going to feel where you wanted it to start, and then you're going to press it. Um, I already have the first one down, so I'm just going to repeat that process. But since this isn't the first one, I'm actually going to place this one right on top of the other one. Like, this track is going to be, like, right here on top of it because I want the hair to be nice and dense. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna feel where I need it to go. And I'm gonna press. And then I'm gonna press down as I'm going across back here. So that way I can butt it up right against the other track
and then I'm just going to press. And then you just press it and hold it there. You can rub across. If you have like a blow dryer, you can blow dry it as well. But doing it on yourself takes a while. So if you have the time and the patience, um, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, just press it for a minute or two. Okay, so you can see that I came up to here on the sides. Now, this may look like it's longer. It's actually not. It's the same length of hair I've been using, but I flat ironed it because I like to start with the hair a little bit more straight when it gets longer than if you want to curl it or anything like that, you can afterwards. But now that I have this part done, I'm going to start looping around a little bit more. Now, I'm going to use some of the medium hair, but I'm also going to use some of the long if you want more of a fringe, or you want to keep this short and have a longer fringe, or you'll see more about this in the long hair video, but you can just do like a little section right here, and then continue the line with the uh, medium length hair, but I'm actually going to style and cut the whole wig myself, so I'm just going to take this, do the same thing, but instead of stopping, I'm actually going to start it um, where the whole front is covered like this, and I'm going to start to loop everything all the way around as I work my way up to the very top. Okay, you can see I did the first row, and instead of using the medium length hair, I actually hopped over to the long, and I'm going to do that for a few rows, and then once I get more towards the top, I'm going to start using the medium length. Um, you could, like, alternate them if you wanted to, or you could just do a few of the long, a few of the medium, if you're going to cut and style it. I want this area right here to be longer, and I want this to be shorter, so to save myself um, on time from having to cut like so much off of the top. I'm just going to do the longer layers now, make it shorter on top, so that way it's less work later on, but I'm still doing the same thing. I'm just putting glue on here and then just wrapping all the way around. When you're doing this part up here, you don't have to place the tracks right on top of one another. You can put like little spaces between them. Um, that's going to depend on how dense you want the hair to look. If you want a lot of hair, then you're going to want to place them right on top of one another the whole way. Otherwise, if you want it to be not as thick and dense, then you can do like um, probably like quarter of an inch gap in between each row. I like mine more dense because I like more hair in wigs, so I still continue to lay mine one right on top of the other the whole way up. But just keep doing what you're doing, and um, we'll go from there. So now that I have this much done and look like a monk with like a big bald spot on the top of my head, I'm going to start using the medium length hair. And again, same thing that's been going on the whole time, nothing's different, is I'm just going to put glue on this whole strand and then wrap it all the way around. Alright, so I'm all the way at the top. There's only a little space that doesn't have anything on it. If I was doing um, this with just like regular hair, I would make my own closure for the little circle that's up here. I'm going to touch base more on this in my other quick weave video because most of the 27 piece kits now come with a piece like this. Um, I flat ironed it, of course, and then I went in and trimmed it to make it shorter. But it's actually got like net or netting right there, and then you can just glue on this whole piece and then put that over the closure. Um, because the way that it looks right there, it looks like the ones that you make yourself. So yeah, I'm just going to put glue on this and then glue it on top and then we'll get into styling.
Now, for a wig like this, since I wanted it short, um, I'm going to cut it even shorter. You can see it doesn't have any style to it. So if you have a friend who does hair, it might be good to have them help you with this part. Otherwise, if you're comfortable enough doing it yourself, you can do all of this. But I'm just going to go in and blend everything that I want short um, so I don't have like this funny looking area. So I'm actually just taking clippers with my choice attachment and I'm going to start off with a... Um, a three on here which is like three a seven inch and when I started this I forgot to use like the medium length hair at the back so it's not as long as I want it um, luckily I can just adjust it and style it um, but if like you have a lower hairline or anything like that you're gonna want to use longer hair back here um, so that way it's covered completely but now I'm just gonna go in with the clippers and instead of like going in this direction like you would if you were like shaving your head, you just wanna blend everything and kinda trim the hair so you're actually gonna go down in the direction with the hair. Then once you have the back done, um, you can do the sides if you want to, or you can just cut them with like shears. Then once you have like the sides, how you want them, the back and everything, you can go in and start doing all of this. I'm just going to go in, I've already started making it like really choppy, adding texture and everything, and I'm just using like my regular shears um, that I have for cutting hair. And then um, once you have the majority of that done, what you can do, and I'm just going to do it now, um, but you would want to wear this for like a few hours, that way you can let the glue dry as much as possible. And then you would take it and take all of this off and then you just remove the shower cap from the inside. And once you're done with everything, now I have a new wig. And that way I can wear it whenever I want. I can take it off whenever I want. So um, yeah, hope this tutorial was helpful to some of you. And until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.